Hey, this is another StarCraft 2 commentary, again featuring Boo from one of his replays, and this time Boo spawning in the top position as the Blue Zerg, and we've got Hobo, who's the Red Protoss down here, and hopefully Hobo, I'm not quite sure how he manages to have a computer, since he's a bit of a Hobo, but anyway, we'll see how he manages to play in StarCraft 2, you'd imagine he wouldn't be able to get much practice time in. Um, at the moment it looks like both of them going fairly standard, as you'd expect, and wouldn't be surprised to see quick expansion from Boo, just like in the last game on Metalopolis, um, probably went like 14 hatch or thereabouts, because it's fairly easy, because with the long um, ground distance to get a 14 hatch up fairly safely. Standard openings, and Boo's just talking about the recent patch rumours from Blizzard, and with balance changes, which should help Zerg, I think. I'm not exactly sure when this game was, or it might be the patch that happened a short while ago where Zerg got a few changes but we'll just have to see how all that plays out because none of the patch, patch notes are actually confirmed yet and we've got Probe coming in here which could put a proxy pylon in boost base or it could just be for scouting purposes but he might want to put down a pylon somewhere anyway and he's just sitting by the gas and waiting to see what's going on got to stand one gateway up at the moment um, Chronobus now being used, I was going to say it's not being very good in the Chronobus, but it looks like this drone's coming out now to get a 14 hatch for Boo, just like you might expect, and the probe's going to try and block it, so we'll see how good Hobo is at blocking this drone from getting down the hatchery. But at this rate, it's probably going to be Boo that's going to win, unless the probe manages to keep away long enough to start regening his shields. But instead, Boo's going to go for a 14 pull, and oh, we've got a pylon down blocking that hatchery expansion. And Boo's got decent scouting information, can see what's going on. But he's just chasing that probe away, and the pylon's going to stop the hatchery from going up. So it'll be interesting to see if Boo decides to either get a hatchery at the goal expansion down here, or whether he's going to attack the pylon and try and take it down. Or it looks like he's going to go for the goal with this other, sorry, with this other drone while he chases the probe back up to his base. But you'd think that. Hobo would make sure that he scouts that and he's getting a second gateway up and no subinator score so it might be some early zealot pressure coming out here even though he's got a gas up he doesn't have a subinator score so he can't pump out any stalkers yet so he might be getting some zealots maybe going to a stargate later on with the short air distances while Boo just keeps going he's got some links out now so he's going to probably try and take that up pylon so that he can expand when he wants to and stop any warp gate tech from Warping in the news, and yep, we've seen the probe come down and scout the gold. And Boo's not very happy about that, complaining about imbalance in the map. But those Zerglings should be able to take down the pylon, and then he'll be able to get a hatchery up as his expansion if he wants. And we see two gates pumping out chrono boosted zealots, and they've got a couple of probes with them, so it looks like he might be planning to put down some early pressure using the probes to take tank some damage from the Zerglings. And uh, unit counting station, whoops. Two zealots, we've got four zerglings and a queen out at the moment for Boo. So he's probably going to head for the expansion and take. Oh, the gold expansion got cancelled, Moba. Um, Boo's decided not to get an expansion, and with all these zealots, which he's seen with his overlord, he's probably going to start pumping some more lings and try and get out as much as he can before these zealots hit. And it looks like he's going to put on some counter pressure with the zerglings, try and take down some probes in Hobo's main and the subnet scores up so we should probably see some stalkers coming out fairly soon but he's just going to try and take down as many probes as he can and all these zealots have all gone out to that bottom expo which has been cancelled so they're not going to be able to do anything down there and that just delays him from getting into his main all the longer and at the moment because presumably of all the lings that he's pumped he's boos behind on the drone count because he hasn't been able to get that second hatchery up either <clears throat> although a lot of hobo's probes are here hanging around with the zealots, deciding whether to put any pressure on. And for some reason we've got a drone up here, not quite sure what that's going to be able to do. Especially since he's got all these overlords around anyway which can't be hit by the zealots. So that's a bit of a wasted drone. We've got four zealots out now, just kind of wandering around, checking his own watchtower, and we've got some roaches out for boost, so they should be able to deal with the zealots if they can manage to collect them. It's got some stalkers coming out. So the Cybernators calls up, Stalker's coming out, and Boo's going to try and take control of this down like a watchtower, and he's still not got an expansion out, so we'll have to see when he decides to expand, which he's not too keen on doing at the moment, probably because of all the Zealots throughout, and we've got some Chronobus Stalkers coming out to support those Zealots, so it'll be Zealot Stalker, early pressure of two gates, and but he doesn't have a warp gate, oh, sorry, he doesn't have a pylon 
near the main of boost, so he's just gonna have to be warping in those units from his main when he gets the warp get technology upgraded. And it looks like he's got a roach zergling roach coming out, which should be reasonable against these gateway units if he manages to micro them well. And if he's keeping within this gas then he'll be able to bring a surprise on Hobo when Hobo decides to attack. And we've got another gateway coming up, so it looks like we might be getting possibly four gate pressure and he's doing pretty well taking down all these others with the roaches and he's managed to split up the army so it's kind of all attacked by piecemeal so he's done really well so far taking down all the zealots and he's just got the stalkers to deal with now and have to see how well he manages to micro these stalkers against, against the roaches and nope he's doing pretty well getting some probe kills uh, to the income now it's, it's 22 probes against 17 drones but he's just managed to kill a few 21 against 17 and these stalkers are doing pretty well against the roaches because it's short range on the roaches but all of the damages are not the actually focusing on Herbo's main so we should be able to get his yeah he's getting sick in the hatchery after his natural man and despite the fact that all these roaches are going down there's not a huge amount of arm here at Herbo's base so he's got a sentry out now which might help later on when he decides to push out but for now check the other out it's 17 against 16 so he's managed to take down quite a few pros, do quite a bit of damage to the economy. Now he's got some Zerglings running in to do a bit of an attack. But he's going to run them away and make sure they're safe. So he's got 25, 27 Zerglings. So he's pumped quite a few Zerglings and taken down quite a few probes. And he's also getting his lair out, so he'll be able to go possibly Mutalisk. Although Mutalisk against the Stalker isn't always ideal. But there's no Robotech and no Stargate at the moment for Hobo, so he's just going off three three gates, three warp gates, and he's got no proxy pylon, so he's kind of in a bit of a bad position, because he's not able to put any pressure whatsoever on Boo at the moment, and with all these Zerglings running around, he's got to make sure he doesn't push his army out too far, just in case they might just slip by and start attacking his economy. And we've got some more Stalkers warping in from the warp gates, and while the Stalkers and the Zealots and the Sentry will be pretty decent against just these few Zerglings, the fact is that he's got no opportunity to go and put any pressure on at the moment because he's just got a device in front of his base and it looks like we're going to see four warp gates coming out for Hobo and he's going to try and put some pressure on out. The fact that Boo's had to delay is all the bad uses of the Zerglings he's got, didn't do anything with half of them there and lost quite a few for absolutely nothing but he did get those sentries to use up to three force fields and he's got the Zerglings the main he's able to take down these couple of or one zealot and stop the probe mining for a tiny amount of time but he really needs to do some more economic damage because the delay on his entry of his delay on his entry has put him behind a bit economically from where he really wants to be and he has managed to drone up quite a lot though so he's got 27 drones and his econ's a lot higher than Hobo's so Hobo's going to need to push out now and if we check the unit count he's got two queens, four roaches and that's it at the moment for boost so he's going to need to get out a lot of units which it looks like he's got some more roaches coming out yeah so a load more roaches pop so he knows on 12, 12 roaches and a couple of queens and it looks like Hobo's going to try and open up this short path I'm surprised at the moment that neither of them got um, any kind of air units because with the close spaces it's quite decent to get some air units out and then you can do a bit of harass but at the moment it looks like there's no muter coming out for boo and nothing from Stargate just going to go for a four walk gate push and via these middle rocks, so it doesn't look like Boo's got any overlords in position and he's going to pile on up so it can reinforce quickly up his four warp gates and it doesn't look like Boo's got any overlords scouting this so it might be a bit of a surprise I think when these do break through the rocks it will be any second now and he's got all these roaches in position and some zerglings with them ready to defend and oops, the unit can station so this is basically and those force fields nicely split the roaches and kept some of them quite far back although they are still able to deal quite a bit of damage to the zealots on the health bars. The, all of those got taken down and now it's the stalkers and it's really not microing his army for a way. He's got them sat there taking damage from all these roaches. The sentries aren't using any force skills because they haven't got enough energy and these roaches are just taking everything down at the moment. So, no, the roaches have just died because of the reinforcement units from the pylon, but oof, if Bood bought his queens in then he might have been able to do a bit better, but he didn't build any more he built some zerglings which managed to push his back actually but his reinforcements weren't there with the main army and he didn't pull back towards his reinforcements and the reinforcements from the pylon and the warp gates managed to take down most of the roaches which were left 
So it looks like it could be quite a tense game. And we've got another battle going on here. So we've got the sentry using his force field without much success. And these sentries are really low on energy, so they're not able to do much with the force field, just really possibly going to hurt the Protoss. Since the sentries aren't hugely damaging unit, and a many good support unit, and we've got more roaches, more zerglings popping out, so with these roaches and these zerglings, if he manages to come in and get us around on all these units, he might be able to do quite well, yep. So we see a couple of force fields going down for the sentries, so they'll get destroyed really quickly, and now it's only a couple of few stalkers left, and quite a few zealots, but he should be able to micro against the zealots. <laughs> he's got a link dancing around the road. But with the surround he managed to get on all, basically all those units, splitting the army in half. He's managed ooh, not even a GG from Hobo, because his push failed and we did pretty well to hold that off even though he managed oh he had to delay his hatchery. He did pretty well by cancelling the gold and held off any early push by putting a bit of pressure on the front door of Hobo so that he can move his units out, which was pretty effective, and managed to get his expansion up and then macro up pretty well. And win the game basically by having more units and microing or well, neither player really microed which is possibly why Hobo lost mainly because he just didn't you do much with his units to have good control so Boo won that one, he's 1-1 one -one so far in his replays and we got some more coming up and he didn't even have to get anything except the roach warrant and the spawning pool